Hey. Welcome back. Good to be back. I'm thrilled to have you here. When I, when I first uh, ran into you backstage at the Ray Charles tribute, right? And mm -hmm. I was so excited that we'd And you were you... mad at me because I wouldn't come on your show. Yes, I was mad. And what happened then? You came on. And then I came on. Uh, right. That's how I get people. Like Matthew, I was waiting. On yeah. Um, have you, uh, it, will you answer one if it rings? Sure. Good. Yeah. All right. So, um, Here's here's the thing. This hat is not helping you with the problem. I want to you 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 sell out these huge stadiums, mm -hmm. and you have poor eyesight, and you can't see you can't see past twenty rows. Um, no, not much. Uh <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I've been looking at getting that corrective eye surgery thing done. Really, because I mean, people bring all these signs, you know, and they spend a lot of time. Right, exactly. On these signs, and they say all kinds of, of things on these signs, and I really can't see it. I just wave. <laughs> See, now they're going to stop making the signs when they hear about this. Yeah, I know what, either that or get in the first 20 rows. Uh-huh. Well, or you need to just get the, the surgery. It's supposed to be... I'm scared to get the surgery. Well, what about glasses? Eh. <laughs> I wear glasses. I don't like to, but I, I'm forced to wear glasses now. I wear now. glasses, too, but not on stage. Oh, not on stage. Yeah. Let me see them on you. These are mine, and they're, they're good looking. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> They're not that strong. <laughs> they're not? No, they're not. And maybe you don't need glasses. Or, but I also... How do I look? I just need them for... Now I can't see with them off. Oh. See, I just need them for close-up. I can see far away. I just can't see... I can see close-up, but I can see. That's why it's so strong. Oh. Uh-oh, somebody's ringing. Not yet. No, it's no? A, I think it's a message or something. Oh. Last year on the tour, you made... I mean, this is already known, so I'm not giving away any secrets. You made $87 million on your tour last year. And, uh, yeah, that's a lot. And listen to this, he, he still does his own laundry. <laughs> I like that. I've done my own laundry ever since I was well, a kid. I mean, my mom worked, you know, uh -huh. and, and um, she was um, a, a single working mother. And so if I was going to have clean underwear, I, I had to do it. <laughs> so uh, and now I'm so particular that I won't let anybody else touch it. When do you have time to do laundry? Well, on, on the road every day, I mean, you, you, you got hours to waste. And so um, I do that. And when I'm home, Do you the go very to a first... laundromat? Where do you go? No, usually at the, at the at a venue or the arena or wherever we're playing, uh -huh. they have their, you know, mm -hmm. they have a facility to do, do you, it. Do you, uh, do you iron and stuff like that? I'm pretty good iron. Really? I, not, not very good, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I that's could iron a... your clothes. I could iron a shirt. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it off in a little while and then <laughs> let you iron it for me. Okay. Um, and do you cook and stuff like that? No, too? I'm not. A, no, no. You're not that. You're just more. No. You like the laundry thing. Do you like to clean? Like when I you're home. I think I'm addicted to it in a way. Uh huh. I'm one of those people that are addicted to laundry. Uh huh. I'm always doing it. Real? Always. Always. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I think I'm addicted to it. Yeah. Like I pour half a bottle of Downy in there. Everything. My clothes smell really good. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you did smell good when I hugged you. <laughs> So what's going on? We just talked to Matthew about his uh, love life, and he said yeah. he's too busy. What about you? Are I'm you seeing anybody? I'm kind of too busy, too. No, I'm, um, maybe um, Courtney can help me out, too. Really? You want Courtney and, and Lauren to find you? Would you marry again? Sure. I yeah? hope so. Yeah. I, I hope so. And are you still friends with, uh, with Renee? Yeah. Uh -huh. Really? That's great. Yeah. That's Pretty good. good. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's, yeah, I'm still friends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whenever there's a yeah that many times, it's yeah, not really. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we really yeah. are. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the answer there. Um, all right, so, but you, you will if we find you somebody. No doubt about it. Who are you looking for? What kind? We'll, we'll put it out there right now. You put it, I believe. What it's am like I a, looking for? Yeah, what kind of... Uh, well, she's got to love music. Uh -huh. She's got to love the beach. Mm -hmm. She's got to love people. Mm -hmm. She's got to... Uh, Wow, okay, well, here we go. Um, Music, the beach, people. Yeah, and she's got to love to eat, and mm -hmm. she's got to love to have fun, and she's got to love to do laundry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of it. I... I just, yeah. <laughs> that's a joke. Yeah, yeah. That's... <laughs> Well, it sounds like I'm your girl, but I'm not available. <laughs> um, but I, I like to do laundry, and I think there are a lot of people out there who like all those things. So uh, just uh, write into our website, and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll get your information to Kenny. Back with Kenny Chesney, you just have such a, a bright, bright smile. I do? Yes. I don't like my smile very much. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, how can you not like your smile? I don't know. It's a, it's a very, it's a wonderful smile. It is? Well, yes. thank you very much. You're welcome. By the way. <laughs> Hmm. I think you're hot, too. Oh, wow. 
I really do. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Wow. What are you doing after? That's, uh, oh, I'm married. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah. you know, when you, when you go and you do um, these talk shows, they usually give you, you know, gifts, you know, in, in your dressing room. I walked into my dressing room today at Ellen, and uh, I had to do this. I'm sorry. You should be wearing them. What are you talking about? And what are these all about? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you got them here before. I have a hard time me, me going out on a date and if it goes really, really well. Uh huh. Mm. And having Ellen on knees. Ellen on knees. It would, it would impress her, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. They would like to see that. They're very comfortable. You'll enjoy them. Thank you very much. Maybe not on a date, but you'll enjoy them. Yeah. Hey, uh, we just found out just now that your uh, CD is going to debut at number one. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. And. Now, when, when a, something like this, like this particular CD, is mm -hmm. more personal, you've written Very songs cool. about uh, your marriage, and yeah. uh, is that, does she know, do you keep in touch I'm with? I'm sure she does by now. It's yeah. now all week, yeah. Do you, you, not, you don't talk? Not that much. No, okay, no. so she doesn't really know, you don't call and go, hey. Hey, um, listen to the song, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't run the song by no. her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and is that, it, it must be cathartic to, to get that out, but then do you feel vulnerable that you're putting out there your, your feelings? Oh, of course. Yeah. Sure. Um, my life is my songs, and my music is my life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as a songwriter, it's, 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 uh, I think you learn at some point that you've got to be truthful with everybody you mm -hmm. know, and, and um, write what you're feeling. And, 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 you know, sometimes it does put you in a pretty, when you're creative, it does put you in a pretty vulnerable place. Mm -hmm. you know? Do you find that some, some musicians, I think, get stuck in, like, needing that drama to keep writing songs? Oh, no, I don't need the drama. You don't, but do, no, you, I, do you know what I'm talking about, though? I do know what you're talking about, but um, I'm not one of those people that has to be miserable to make music. Mm -hmm. But know? no, a lot of people I mean, do. Seriously, I mean... There are a lot of people that yeah. thrive on that. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't thrive on it. Yeah. No, I like to be happy. Yeah, you're looking for some... Are you dating? Yeah. You are dating. Yeah. Are you anyone seriously, or just kind of a lot of? Uh, it's starting to be. Yeah. Know, it's, yeah. It's um, in, the, in the beginning stages. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And uh, so, do you you want to have a little baby? What about that baby? That you don't want that one. It's Nicole's. But can't have um, hers. No. It was a pretty baby though. Yeah. But you want yeah. a family? Sure. Yeah. A big family. Oh, no, I don't know how big of a family I want. No, yeah. but you know, I, I don't think that the whole, you know, I don't think my life is going to revolve around catering and uh, my bus my whole life. Mm -hmm. I hope not, anyway. Yeah, because that, that touring has got to be hard on a it relationship. Can, it's really hard. It's, oh, it, it's, it's almost impossible to have um, whatever normal is uh -huh. <laughs> now. Right. But to have a normal relationship and do what I do like I do it is... As, as much as I put into it. Then do you think you would stop touring? I don't think I'll ever stop touring, but I may take the foot off the gas pedal. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, because you're, you're, you're saying backstage that you're going to try to take a little break for a while. I am. Yeah. After this show, actually, I mean, I, I've been on tour since September. Uh -huh. No, I'm sorry. I've been on tour since April. Uh -huh. And I, my tour ended in September, and I've been, you know, the record's out this week, so I've been doing a lot of stuff for that. And mm -hmm. then, so after you, I'm on vacation. Oh, good. I'm, yeah. I'm glad to be your last stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean that. No, I mean that. I'm, I'm happy that you can go away with memories of me and my underwear. Yeah, yeah. We're back with the very lovely, lovely Kenny Chesney. I love when you're here. Hi. Hi. So, uh, Life is Good for You, number one song. Your CD is expected to be number one, and you've got a new documentary that is... Is it out or is it coming out? It's coming out in November. In November, yeah. and it is about? Um, football. And it's about... You love football. I love football, yeah. You love football. Yeah, but it's, it's more about... It's, it's about football, but it's about how football relates to life, life relates to football. It's about um, showing kids that it's okay to dream. Mm -hmm. It's okay to dream big. I came from a small town, and I had a, um, a lot of dreams in my head, you know? And mm -hmm. um, I think we all have this internal voice in, in our head saying, like, okay, like, there's a kid out there that wants to be the next Drew Brees. And he goes, well, that's really not going to happen to me, you know? The internal voice is saying that, but that's really not true. You know, the, those constraints really aren't there. Well, look at Drew's story. Drew's story is amazing. Right. Drew Brees, which we have his jersey hanging there. That's our... Uh, I see that. You know, I am... 
I am so proud of, of them, and I love him, and he's been here, of course, and, and you actually hung out and trained with the Saints, right? I did. Sean Payton is a great friend of mine. The and coach, I met him yeah. when he was quarterback coach for the New York Giants. But, um, And I've had a lot of those guys on stage with me, Coach Payton and Drew and all those guys have been on stage, and they all think they can sing. You know, they want to <laughs> sing anyway. So, and I, I've always wanted, you know, I'm, I quit growing in high school, so I couldn't really play football like those guys. So, but I, I wanted to. So I, they let me come to practice. They signed me. We did a press conference, you know, and everything. That's very fun. It was how, fun. How'd you do? Pretty good. I, I did okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I did okay. Uh, but the one thing that um, they put a lot of pressure on me, a lot, because Sean goes, he goes, can you catch a punt? And I went like a real punt. And uh, he said, yeah. So they were in training camp now. It's hot. And um, he goes, if Kenny catches this punt, you guys don't have to practice on Monday. But if he misses it, you got to practice twice. That's not fair. So you can imagine, you know, these, these um, it, it, I, 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 I caught do? it. I caught it. You did. I did catch it. Yeah. And they were, I did. But I was, I was really, really scared that I was going to drop that punt. Yeah. I've never caught one before, really. But. Well, I can't even imagine when you think about it, catching something hurling through the air that with that kind of velocity, they, it must it must impact you. Like it must be a hard hit to your well, chest. Well, it's harder to do with pads on too. I didn't do it with pads. I did it with a helmet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was it. I think I did it. I did it twice. I did it two years in a row though. One year I did it without a helmet. One year I did it with a helmet. It's tough though. Wow. Yeah. But well, I had fun. Yeah. It, well, it, it sounds fun. I brought you a present. I know. I won. I won. I heard you got me a present. <laughs> what is it? What is it? And you're from New Orleans, right? I'm from New Orleans. Um, and you've had Coach on here. And, yes, um, and Drew. And Drew. And his wife, yes. And his wife. So, yeah, so I love the Saints. So. <laughs> okay, Ready? close your eyes. Close your eyes. Really? Close your eyes. Okay. All right. Are they still closed? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yep. Open them. Open them. That's a real helmet. That's what they wear. I went, to the, I went to the Saints game last Sunday and they signed it for you. I grew and, and coach, of course. I was number seven in high school, so I signed it and put number seven. Wow. <laughs> you think it'll fit? Uh, it'll I have fit. a tiny, tiny head. If it's yeah. a tiny, tiny helmet. There you go. Oh, it's tiny. This is a this is a really good idea. I don't know whose idea it was, but it's a oh, really it good idea. Uh, okay. No, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, we talked about it for a long time. Years. Yeah. Because yeah. you've yeah. known each other a long time, right? Even more years. Uh, how yeah. long have you known each other? Twenty years. Twenty years. But you used to go over and play uh, with uh, his his. You like had tea parties with his daughters. Is that right? Well, when you first moved in, when the I first yeah. moved in. To Tim and Faith's neighborhood, Gracie yeah. w got the idea that she was going to paint everybody's toenails at the pool. And so she painted my toenails, she painted Tim's toenails, mm -hmm. Faith's, everybody's, right? And we had to go somewhere. Well, that was the ACM Awards. The, that was on a Friday, and the ACM mm -hmm. Awards were coming up that Sunday. That so. Sunday. So I'm, I, I'm out in LA. It was, it, still, it was still in LA at the time. Yeah. I'm out in LA at the pool, you know, the day of the award show. And I looked down, <laughs> and my toenails were still painted. You know, and I was walking around talking to everybody, you know, I was like everybody in the business. Which pool? At like a hotel or something? It was like the Universal Hilton or something like uh -huh. that. So, yeah. Well, oddly enough, that still happens to Kenny, but it's a whole different <laughs> yeah. scenario. Right. Especially in Vegas now that the awards have moved in. Right, there. yeah. <laughs> now, have, uh, but but uh, people can have uh, access to your toes because you're barefoot all the yeah. time. Now, don't you worry about getting, now that you're touring together, you're going to get stepped on or something like that. You're not I'm worried about... about getting fungus or something yeah, like that. I, <laughs> No, no, it, it, no. It's it's. Uh, I decided to be comfortable. Yeah, he's Kenny's. Comfortable really, you're more comfortable time, barefoot yeah. on stage like that? Well, I haven't really done it on stage yet. I just oh. decided to do it here. My, like I, my jeans were too wrinkly and my boots didn't fit right, so I decided to do this. <laughs> Good. But, you know, whatever makes you comfortable. Um, and where did this uh, Brothers from uh, of the Sun uh, tour come from? That's your name. Well, you came up with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was. But Tim and I both, you know, we played music in the summertime. We both love, you know, the outdoors, love the sun. Mm -hmm. And that's been a big part of my, 
you know, live for a while in Tim's and people that come to listen to us play. You know, it's a summertime thing. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. going to be a fun. Ellen's going to be. Oh, I, special I, summer. I, I'm sure. I mean, I just let performance alone, and I love that song. It's fantastic. And this didn't have to happen. You know, it's, it's, it's like it's as special as it's going to be for me and Tim to be up there on stage again. The 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 fans are the ones that yeah. who've lived with our music for a while. They're the ones that are going to benefit well, the most. Well, it sold I out. I think you sold almost a million tickets uh, already. So, right? Yeah. Amazing. Hi. You sound good. You look good. I do. You look real good. I look real good. You look real good. So do you. Thank you. you and, and I love that song, and uh, it's great to see you. I love having you here. Good Every time you're here. Um, and, I, and I hear everyone's got a joke today. You have a joke, too? I do have a joke. All right, let's hear it. OK, it's the first time I've told a joke on TV. So, but it's an old couple, right? And they're driving back from Florida. They spent, the, they spent the summer in Florida, or spent the winter in Florida. And they're driving back, see? They're driving back and they get pulled over by the cops and this cop goes, can I see your driver's license? And the old lady says, what did he say? And the guy goes, he asked to see my driver's license. They're talking to each other like that? Like this, yeah. Okay. Like, you know, like, so, so, um, and the cop goes, so you're from Missouri? And she goes, what did he say? He goes, he asked if we were from Missouri. And the cop goes, you know, I, don't, I mean no disrespect, sir, but I had the, um, Worst sex I've ever had in my life in the state of Missouri. She goes, what did he say? He says he thinks he knows you. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't make that up. Yeah. But. So it's not a good marriage. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your tour right now. You're selling out stadiums. Every time I see you, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the stadium... I mean, like, what, 100,000, 80, 100,000, right? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, I mean, it is. Well, it's, you know, kind of. But yeah. it's, it's, it's uh, we're having a blast. And it just goes to show you how much passion, how much people care about music, and, you know, that they're not just living, you know, they're not just hearing the songs on the radio, but they're really living with them. Yeah. And, uh, but it's amazing, really though, blessed. Kenny. I mean, the, you're, I mean, stadiums, that's got to feel, because I know the energy I get from this room and from audiences that I play doing stand-up. To get that from, like, that many people, that must feel amazing. It's, 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 the best way I can describe it is some nights it really feels like an avalanche, like you're standing right in front of it. Mm -hmm. And it's an awesome feeling. You feel that. All right, and let's talk about you have a new line of rum that has come out. What's the name of the rum? It's called <laughs> Blue Chair Bay Rum. And so... Blue Chair? Blue Chair Bay, yeah. So I'm excited about it. It's almost like releasing your first record, you know? It's like a new project and a, and a new thing, you know? So there's this nervous energy that comes along with that. And it's not out yet, because we tried to get a yet. bottle, and we don't have that. But we do have something that I think you do enjoy. We have a different kind of rum, and we're going to play a game. A and, game? Yep, and we're going to play a game. I'm going to ask you Looks some dangerous questions. and fun. I'm going to ask you some questions, and... <laughs> if, no, don't smell. You, you, don't, don't, you, you can't smell. Some are water and some are rum. And you're just going to point to which one, and I'll hand it to you. You don't, you don't get to smell first. To, so you don't know if you're going to have a shot of rum or a shot of water. If, so what's that? Are these these what? are true or false. So if you get it right. right, you have to take a shot. <laughs> OK. All right? Here we go. Your name is Kenny Chesney. <laughs> that's true. Uh-oh, that's not water. <laughs> Well, I am playing in Vegas tomorrow night, so what, you know, All right. tell us about All right. Your new CD that's coming out on April 30th is great. I think that's true, so, um, okay. Thank God, it's that's water. That's water. <laughs> All right. You have a duet on your new album with Willie Nelson. That's true. That's not water. <laughs> That's not water. Are you, am I the only one doing it? Wait, what's, yeah. matter, what's wrong with this story? <laughs> well, I'm not playing the game. You're playing the game. Oh, I'm playing the game. Uh -huh. All right. Do I get to spend the night? Like. Yeah. <laughs> this falls out into a couch. <laughs> no. This is where I live. This is my house. All right. Finish it. You have another uh. one. All right. Um, 
All right, here's your last one. You brought copies of your new CD for everyone in the audience. That's true. <laughs> Oh, it's water! Thank you.